So whip transitions are probably the easiest in-camera transitions you can do, and I'm gonna show you three different types. But besides having your exposure settings right, the most important thing about whip transitions is to use manual focus. Oh, and also be very aware of your strap. It'll get in the way all the time. So either crumple it up in your hand and get it off to the side on the camera, or best bet is just to take it right off, even though I didn't for this video. And just so you know, once I'm done showing you how to film these whip transitions, I'm also gonna show you how to edit them at the end of the video. The first whip transition is the whip pan, which is basically when you film something and then you whip your camera either to the left or to the right. So obviously all of these whip transitions are broken into two different shots. For the first shot, all you have to do is get your shot composed, make sure that it's in focus using manual focus, film for a little bit and either whip to the left or to the right. So I'm gonna to whip to the right in this case. For the second shot, it's a little bit different. You wanna get the object in focus first, then I'm gonna to start to the left. Since I whipped to the right the other time, I'm gonna start filming off to the left and then I'm gonna whip in and then film the object for a little bit and now it'll be in focus because I already focused on it before. The most important thing to remember is to make sure that you whip the camera in the same direction for both shots. The second whip transition is the whip tilt, which is basically the same as the whip pan, except now you're whipping the camera up or down. So the first shot, get your object in focus using manual focus, film for a little bit, and then either whip up or down. So I'm gonna whip up. Then for the second shot, once again, compose your shot, get it into focus. Since we whip up, we're gonna start by pointing the camera down, then we're gonna whip up into our shot, film for a little bit, and we're good. And then the third whip transition is the whip twist, which is, again, the same as the whip pan and the whip tilt, but now, instead of going up or down or left and right, you're just twisting the camera, either to 90, or you can even twist it all the way upside down to 180. So once again, for the first shot, you're gonna get your shot composed and then focus, and then you're gonna twist. I'm gonna twist left. For the second shot of the twist, you're gonna do the exact same thing we did before. You're gonna get your shot into focus, so I'm in focus on what I want, and we're gonna go the opposite. So since we twisted left, we're gonna start by twisting right. I only went 90 degrees, so I'm gonna go 90 to go vertical again. And then all I'm gonna do is twist it left into place. Now, for a twist, you might have to do it a few times. So I'm gonna go twist into place and then film for a little bit. Okay, so now that I've shown you how to film these whip transitions, let me show you how to edit them. And as you can see, I have Premiere Pro open and I have the clips loaded in here two at a time. These two right here are the two whip pan transitions. These two in the middle are the whip tilts. And these two over here are the whip twist ones over here. So basically to edit these, all you do is you click play, you watch them. And I've let it kind of go a little bit longer than it should. So I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm gonna scroll this back to where it is kind of the most blurry, kind of in the middle of the whip. So right there, and then I'm just gonna trim this clip down. On the other side, I'm gonna do the opposite. Off the start, I'm gonna slide this along until I see the whip happening. I'm gonna to go to the middle of that one where it's blurry, trim this side, and then just connect them together. Now when we watch them, I should have cut right in the middle of the most blurry part where it whips, and then it just ties them together. Okay, so we'll do the same thing here. I'll just slide this along, maybe I'll zoom in. I'll go to where I'm whip tilting up, so somewhere around there. I'll trim that side, slide this over just a bit, go over to this side, and then I'll find the part where I'm going up on this one, trim the left side, squish them together, and now we can watch. This is what the whip tilt looks like, so it's filming, and then whoop, whip tilts up. That was very smooth. Okay, so now if we go over to the whip twist, I can do the same thing, I'm gonna slide along, and I'm looking really for the, an early kind of blur. See these like full circles here? I'm kind of looking for something like that. I'm gonna trim that off, and I'm gonna look for a similar thing on this side. So I'm kind of sideways here, and then I start to spin, see something like that. Now, it would've been best if the middle of these circle things matched up. So if I trim this, you can see that this one for the tree is kind of located off to the right. And this one for the kind of flower thing is off to the left over here. Should still be fine though. If we push play, it twists. That was a little bit quick. So maybe I'll go back if it's too quick. 
then just move over a couple frames, expand both of them out a little bit. So I'll move this one over and then ex expand this one back just a little bit. Okay, so let's see it now. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Okay, so that's all I have for filming and editing simple whip transitions. But if you really wanna step up your in-camera transition game, make sure to watch the video I have linked in the description below. It's 10 ways, that's five, but double that, 10 ways to make your in-camera transitions even better. What did you just say? My, cam my camera is my... No, about whipping it? Yeah. What? What, what is, how do we whip it? Just like that, you did it. You gotta whip it. <laughs> <laughs>